I'm Bloody Mary, we're here at the Haunted Museum. We deal with the paranormal all types. We have someone here who is a cryptid expert, and this is Dana Hollyfield. And what's your expertise, my dear? The Honey Alice Will Monster. And so this is a footprint that your grandfather got of the monster. Right. Any quick things you want to say about it? Anything weird about it besides that it's a swamp monster? Well, <laughs> as you can see, it's uh, only got three toes with a fourth deep claw. It's kind of web looking, so it's adapted to the small bear. They believe if it's related to a Bigfoot in any way, it's more like a swamp Bigfoot. So it, we call it the Hayon Swamp Monster. And my grandfather was the first eyewitness to report a sighting back in 1974. And, but he actually saw it in 63. Okay. And the area where he found the tracks was in the same area that he first saw it. So he assumed that whatever was making these tracks was the creature he saw. And there's nothing else out there that has the web feet besides Not our friend the gator. Besides the alligator, but the, um, they were studied by the zoology department I think the Washington Smithsonian who said they'd never seen anything like this before and it wasn't a gator, but um, it's definitely different. Want to zoom in on the foot? The Honey Island Swamp Monster, as far as I'm concerned, doesn't scare me, does it scare you? I don't, I think if I came face to face with it myself, it might scare me. Yeah. <laughs> But maybe not, depends on what it Did what you did. feel that it would be out to get you? No, because it's had opportunity. We've been out that small <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. it wanted to get us. I mean, it, and usually when it sees somebody or somebody sees it, it turns and leaves. And although there has been a few incidents where it kind of terrorized somebody, people that were staying in an area that they believed it was a territorial thing and it would, you know, go around torment them through the night screen they were building fires and trying around them circle of fire to keep oh the bigfoot the, the yeah, monster was yeah, building the, fires no, no, my, my uncle and them were out there and they had to build a fire to to ward them off and they were beating on you know they had their little camp and supplies and they were making a lot of noise and um they said it tormented them all night long circle them. they said it, sometimes it was so close you could hear it breathing and it would make the hair on your back of your neck stand up and they said by morning, well, by morning they left and my aunt never went back. She said, I've never went camping again. <laughs> but there's never been any fatalities no, or any problems killed. or got there. No, or... They just say it's very, to look at it, it would scare you. You'd be scared. But okay. I'm not, not afraid of monsters. But what about, not, what about the Lutgaru and the Ruguru? Do they think they're related somehow? Some people think they are because I guess because of the way they look, sort of with the short dingy hair on the body and the long hair around the face and looking almost human but not. Mm -hmm. Some A uh, few eyewitnesses said one of, one of them described as having a, a, a face that was more pointed. pointed. So now they're talking about the dog man so much. There's been reportings of them swimming, seen swimming across Lake Pontchartrain from your area. Oh. So they swim well. Um, well, the dogs can swim, so I imagine if it's a monster. I mean, dog same, man, yeah. wolf, wolf. Right. If dogs can, they can swim. Yeah. <laughs> or the, we have to give them some honey. Did you ever try luring them with honey? No, but I heard someone used to put fried chicken out there. Okay. <laughs> honey fried chicken would be good. <laughs> They're hungry, they like everything we like, I guess right. would be the answer. So this is gonna be a new display and you're gonna come on the 16th at the dog parade for the Voodoo garage sale. And we'll do a little talk about swamp monsters. And you know, I, I have had encounters with many. I'm not afraid of them though, I like them. <laughs> I don't think they're out to get you. I think they're protectors of the swamp. Yeah. I think, I think protectors of the forest. You know, I you mess with them, they might mess with you, right, but other than right. that, you know. So thank you so much for this. I know the modern media has just made things crazy, keep adding things on to the yeah. legends and <laughs> silly things about trains falling over and you know people, what's it, animals from the, the, the circus, circus mating circus with, train, yeah, yeah that, all this modern fake lore as we call it on top of the folklore and the monsters and I personally believe they're interdimensional. Mm -hmm. That's why you see them or don't see them. Right. You know, they go between the worlds. So I have a ghost photo uh -huh. of a loop guru or a swamp monster in here. And oh, wow. we'll talk about that more on the 16th here at the Haunted Museum 828 North Rampart in New Orleans with Dana in the French Quarter. See you later. <laughs>